Justin Ocho, and I'm from Pasco, Washington. Uh, can you please share with us, um, how is this seeing this deliverance testimony and the, the demon that was in your life, how does that destroy your life? Well, it all started out, uh, I guess, when, even when I was a little kid, like seeing little stuff that happened with my mom and dad, that kind of what started everything. When they divorced, I kind of, you know, uh, money was involved and I got mostly everything out of my brothers. Like I was kind of my dad's favorite. And no, well, <laughs> I would get money and whatever I wanted. So nothing was a problem. I would get away with everything. And that that's not something you're supposed to introduce to as a kid. And then from there on, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. I thought I could do anything. I basically thought I was uh, invincible that nothing can touch me, that no matter what I did, I could still come out on top with drugs, when I would go out to party, I would do anything I want. And my brothers would tell my mom, why are you letting him do this? And then it even like, it destroyed my family. Like it almost took my mom dying and some for me to realize what I was doing wrong and have that finally that conviction. And I don't know. And then, so the, the, the demon that was making you do these things, because we know it's not, it's not you that was trying to do these things. It's not you that was trying to destroy your family, but it's the demon that was inside of you, just like seen on that video. What can you tell us that happened during that prayer line when, when the Apostle John Chi laid his hand on you? What, what made you be so angry? What, what did you experience at that time? I was, uh, I was mad because, I don't know, like when he prayed for me, I didn't want him to touch me at all. I felt like when he touched me, it was hot, like, and I didn't like it. And there was something telling me, like, leave. I don't, I don't want to touch. Don't touch me. Don't do anything. And I was gonna punch him. I, I seriously was. I felt like, like if he touched me, that's why. I, when they grabbed me, I got so mad. I was like, D don't nobody touch me. Just let me leave. And when they didn't let me leave, I was, I got mad. And when he was praying for me, it felt like. I don't know, it felt like fire, like fire was coming over me and I couldn't control myself and I was gonna, I was gonna do anything I could to get out of there. Well, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. That is so amazing to hear that. Can you tell us, uh, for how long has this, has this thing been happening in your life? Oh, like I said, it's been happening since I was a little kid. It's been tormenting me like these thoughts. I've never, I was never at peace with myself. There was always something inside of me saying that you were made for better, that you were made to do something for God, but I didn't want to listen to it. Like, you know, the troubles of this world get to you and you just think like, oh, like this stuff isn't for me. This is just a bunch of hocus pocus stuff. This stuff isn't real. And when it happens to you and it opens your eyes, you're like, wow, like this stuff is real. This, this makes a difference to you. This shows you the way like that God put you through and it's, there's no other feeling like it. Wow, that is so amazing. Come on, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Can you tell us, how, how are you feeling now after the prayer line, after you've been, I've been prayed for, how is your actions now and what have you, what choices have you made since then? Well, I started immediately, like I, we, like, I went together with my family, I asked them forgiveness for what I've done, like even my mom, I was crying and I told her like that it wasn't me, that I was finally free and that I would do things right. I got into the uh, leaders, like the the class of leaders and I went, I started going to home group and I'm reading Good Morning, Good Morning Holy Spirit now, like I just, I want to, I want to know Jesus Christ, I want to know the Holy Spirit, I want him to come into me so that I can share unto others what he's done for me in my life. Oh, and I got baptized too. Come on, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. That is the evidence of Jesus Christ is life changed. Amen, church. And we rejoice with you, Justin, uh, what God Almighty has done in your life. And we know that this is, this is just the beginning. And what I really love, what Apostle John Chi said during that deliverance, he said that the, the Satan will not destroy somebody who is just a nobody. He will destroy those who have a great destiny. And we believe as Justin, as you hear, God has, has a great destiny for your life. You know, follow him straight. You know, don't go astray. Surround yourself with the right people. We believe that you'll be a history maker in our city for Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Thank you for, for everything. Uh and no wait, wait, I just wanted to share one more thing that was I thought was really cool so during the time of trouble when I was doing when everything was happening John T told me one thing my, my mom didn't tell me when as you saw in the video that she said all the stuff that was happening well friends was a big thing friend I thought if I didn't have like friends around that I was unhappy and it was right there where John T told me that don't let your friends destroy your future I didn't tell him anything about that and that thing's what motivated me the most that I didn't tell him anything he just knew 
And that should show you the power of God that he knows who you are more than you know yourself.